What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Seth the Line Sergeant. And uh you already know what time it is. <sighs> Tips to talk. Alright people, today is going to be another special Tipsy Talk. I know I say every Tipsy Talk is a special Tipsy Talk because it is. <laughs> it's a Tipsy Talk, it got to be special. But today is really special. I've been getting comments the whole time I was building my trailer. I was getting comments asking, um, why didn't you uh, measure properly? Why is it gaps here if you had measured properly you would have gaps why did you build it this way why did you do that and you know me i don't i try i don't get mad i don't get upset i just realized that the people asking these questions are people who are not long time subscribers long time subscribers know why the trailer is built the way it is so Instead of going through a long video answering all those comments, I decided I would make a uh, tipsy talk going in detail of when I got my trailer, why I got my trailer, and also I pulled old clips. The day I got my trailer, I got a clip of that. The day I started putting the walls on, some stories like that. So this is going to be a, a rather long video. <laughs> and including the clips and everything. So, hope you got your popcorn. Hope you got your drink. I got my drink right here. You know what I'm saying? I'm actually not drinking Bird Dog. I'm drinking uh, Evan Williams Apple. Still bourbon. In, in the same family. Just a little distant cousin. <laughs> So, let's flashback. I had to flashback and pull up the video to remember what year it was I got my trailer. It was 2015. <clears throat> um, 2015, I, I just finished that season. I had a 5x8 um, trailer, for those who know. My setup was basically a 2001 Van and a 5x8 utility trailer that I built two foot wall sides on. So, I carry leaves and stuff. Um... But I wanted something bigger. I actually was looking for my ideal trailer was a <clears throat> a six by twelve trailer, single axle. And the reason that was was because I knew that wasn't too big for my Astrovan. I knew that was probably the max my Astrovan could tow. And so, and also, I would need a brake controller for it. So I didn't want anything with dual axles that I have to get a brake controller installed or install it myself. Um, <clears throat> and so, I was looking 6x12, 5x10, or whatever, around in that range. And so, the thing was, when I started my business, I had a 4x6 trailer. The next year, I outgrew that, and I got a 5x8, so I was kind of like, you know, I really want a 6x12. Came across a 7x16 dual axle rusty hunk of trailer. <laughs> um, was it too much for my Astro Van? Yes. But it was for sale for a thousand bucks, bro. I couldn't pass it up. I had to at least go look at it. So, on my way, I, I didn't even have a hitch for it. Luckily, my Astrovan has uh, like class two hitch. It was a it was a big heavy duty hitch, class two, class three hitch, or something like that. So the hitch was big enough to tow it, and the Astrovan was rated to tow five thousand pounds. Speaking of that, I'm going to do a video on t 
toe weight versus tongue weight. A lot of people don't really know the difference between that. But I'll get into that later. Went to the guy. He was selling it for $1,000, mind you. Offered him 900 He was like, uh, sure. <laughs> he, he, he took, no, oh, dude, no, I think he might have counted. I got it for 950 or something like that. But then I paid extra because he had, I needed the b neck and ball. Pause. Uh, <laughs> uh, you know, for for the trailer, and because I all I had my my trailer, I, I think it was like a seven eighths or something like that, and I needed a two. I think that thing is like a two and a half inch. So he went in this shop. The guy he uh, he was selling the trailer. He had um he he actually purchased the lawn care business. It was a whole lawn care business. Somebody I guess was moving or something sold it to him and he got all the customers all the equipment everything so he was just selling stuff he didn't need this trailer come to find out which i didn't know at the time had a bent axle i guess they had overloaded it had a bent axle so it causes the tires to wear not really a big deal to me but i didn't know that at the time so bought the trailer from him 950 plus like 40 dollars for the ball and hitch uh ball and neck and um <clears throat> yeah so once I left the guy I instantly went to the gas station got some gas and this right here is the clip of me at the gas station once I got the gas all right people here she is let me back up it's not as awkward as I thought it would look with Astro Van it is because it's leaning forward we we'll see how I told you it's like kind of dipping to the front and see once I put a load on there that's gonna get exaggerated plus I got probably got like the original shocks on this van so it's dipping in the back some but like I said I'm gonna get some um, heavy duty shocks and I'm gonna get a little neck that comes up more so it kind of levels it out to start with right now the starting position is um, leaning forward anyway it was good enough to get to the house but um put my tape up I had to extend my um my four-way connection uh, as you see I got some lights running to the back of there temporary lights because I need a six pin connection so but um here she is not too shabby this thing is huge isn't it Alright, so like I said, I got the trailer. I was super excited. Um, like I said before, I had a 5x8 trailer. I sold that um, to one of my co-workers. And then, <clears throat> I went out working. You know, and, and I'm going to tell you a funny story about the first job I did with the trailer. <laughs> uh, when I had my 5x8 trailer, I had wood sides on it. And I would go to a job with my yard vac. All I had was my yard vac. I would suck up leaves in the yard. And I would stack them up in the front as tall as I can. Just so I could leave enough space in the back of the trailer. To put my yard vac back there. And then I would put a tarp over it. Even if it was tall. You know, I would throw a tarp over it. Strap it down. Good to go. Leaves don't go nowhere. My first job I had with this trailer. <laughs> That made me realize I might need to put sides, wood sides on it. Um, uh, a, a girl I knew from high school called and she said, could you uh, come get some leaves up? He said, me and my dad, we took all the leaves, we piled them in the, in the um, street on the curb. All we need you to do is come pick them up. I said, no problem. She said, it's a lot of leaves. I said, no problem. I got this brand new 7x16 trailer. It's about to be on. I don't care how many leaves you got. I'm going to get them up. So, went there. It was mad leaves in this yard. I mean, on the curb. So, you know, I piled that trailer up. Bro. Piled it up. 
you know, and like, it, mind you, it, it's just like you just saw. Mesh sides, no wood sides, no nothing. Y'all probably know where this is going. <laughs> um, so I work, 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 you know, mind you, because I was, I had a full-time job, so I probably, I think I worked that day. When I got off at like 2 o'clock, I went there to do that, and I worked until it was dark. And so I piled it all up, had plenty of room to put my 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 yard vac on the on the back. Did exactly how I do with my five by eight trail. Took a tarp, I had a big giant tarp, covered all those leaves up. We are good to go. Hop in my Astro van, hit the highway, and head home. Just cruise. Mm, you know, I get home. You know, it's about this time. It's pitch black, dark. I go in the house, you know, I, I, I'll go dump the leaves tomorrow. Come back out the next day, bro. 75% of them leaves were gone. <laughs> Guess where they were? They were somewhere on the highway. It didn't click, bro. It didn't click that because it usually when, when I had my old trail, I had wood sides and I tarp it up. It, it keeps the leaves in there. It didn't click that I have mesh sides. And so soon as I got on that highway, bro, I know the people behind me was mad because it was dark. I couldn't see, bro. I apologize to all those people. I couldn't see. But I know they was getting windshield. They probably had their windshield wipers on, wiping, <laughs> wiping leaves out the way. Hey, you live and you learn. So I said, man, I need to get, put some wood sides on there. So I put four foot wood sides on the trailer, and this is the clip right here of me. It's a couple of clips actually of me building these four foot wood sides. You gotta do what you gotta do. So. Hopefully I got enough juice. I'm gonna see how much juice I got in there. It's been charging for about 15 minutes now. See how much juice I got in there to uh, see if I can get at least get this faceplate on here. And if I can get the faceplate on, I think I'll be done for the day because the two side pieces will be that'll be gravy. All it is is just drilling a drilling a hole through it and putting the bolts on here. I'm doing this thing official. I know y'all last time y'all saw I had my sides attached with zip ties now I'm trying to do things a little bit official get the bolts because like I said I plan on having this trailer for as long I'm, until the wheels fall off literally like you know if it's 20 years from now and one of the wheels fall off then that's when I might get rid of it but shoot I'm keeping this bad boy but let me try to get this faceplate on here alright there she go Boom! Let me take y'all around and let y'all see the other side of it. One thing that I forgot to do. Now, if you guys, now of course, when y'all guys do this design and y'all make a video about it, y'all gotta label it the Seth the Lawn Surgeon design because this is unique. I haven't seen anybody else do this design. So, there you go. You know. Not too shabby for a uh, novice carpenter. Pretty sturdy. And see, as you see, with the way I did the bolts, I did this bolt where this bolt is pulling this way and this bolt is pulling this way. But they still can get loose. But the reason they won't get loose is because that board is, you know, is drilled to the board so it's not gonna move anywhere and then this bolt here I did one bolt from this way and I did another bolt from this way to kind of hold it in that corner as tight as possible even though it ended up being crooked because my mesh was loose it still worked out and like I said you know got plenty of space for my weed eaters and whatnot got plenty of space for my tools so I won't have to walk on the inside to get my tools I can still put my tools right here on the front and all I'm gonna do that's good enough for me man 
now I'm about to start handing out these quotes for leaf jobs already. All right. So that's how I rode around in the streets. I, like I said, I instantly put those sides on that winter time, 2015 going into 16. I rode around from 2016 to 2019 like that, you know. 2017-ish, 18-ish. Like this this just tells you how fast you outgrow your business. Like I was thinking about getting uh, a 6x12 trailer. When I got that 7x16 trailer, I was just looking at it and like, what have I done? There's no turning back at this point. Like, this trailer is huge. What am I going to do with it? And I got to the point where it was kind of too small. <laughs> you know, you it's crazy how, like, when you stay grinding, you stay on your uh, in your business, you'll outgrow stuff so fast that when you first get it, you think, I'll never outgrow this. So I kind of outgrew it. And, you know, I think 2017 is when I got my truck. And I think 2018, I made the decision to solely use my truck. And I kept the van as the, Astro, as the Astro van as a backup. So, I started contemplating getting an enclosed trailer because it got to the point where I kept all my stuff in the back of my truck. My, my chainsaws, my, my attachments, my hedge attachments my sprayers you know anything any knickknacks I need because I like that I like to keep everything I like to keep a lot of stuff so I can be well prepared and so with me keeping all that stuff in the back of my truck I didn't have room for anything else like if I had to haul debris I had to put it on my trailer so a lot of times what I have to do is I have to load all that debris in the front of my trailer then I put my mowers in the back and it was just it just sucked <laughs> so I said bro I need an enclosed trailer if I had an enclosed trailer I could keep move all that stuff in the back of my truck to my trailer and I can use my truck like a truck so that's when I contemplated getting an enclosed trailer then I started seeing the prices of enclosed trailers maybe what are my other options <laughs> a lot of decisions, that's how I am. I think about, like I said, I started thinking about this in 2017, 2018. I'm not the type of person, I just go out and instantly pull the trigger and buy something. I contemplate it. I think about it. And so I contemplated this for two years. And probably in 2018, I started developing this plan. It's like, well, instead of getting an enclosed trailer, maybe I can build some sides. I said I already have half the wood sides. I built four foot sides. Maybe I can build up that, you know, maybe another two feet, make a top, and um, I could have like a little enclosed area I could put my stuff in. What made me build it up four feet <laughs> was the fact that I said, well, I'm tall. I'm six foot already. If I build it up two feet, that's going to be six foot. So I'm still going to be ducking in there, pulling stuff in there. I said, I want to be comfortable in this thing. If I'm going to spend the money to build this thing, I want to be comfortable. So I said, I'm going to build it up another four feet, have two feet of shelf, and still have six feet to walk in. Eight foot tall. That's what I said. Then it started hitting me like, man, you know what? I, I could put signs on this bad boy. So that's what I did. I, I started designing some signs, redesigning my logo. I never really had a logo, but I started making it. So designed the logo and you know the trail that's where the trailer came from so um <clears throat> yeah so here's some clips of me building this trailer boom boom
my new and improved trailer. Check this bad boy out. Check it out. Let me get y'all a view over here. Ah. Ah. Look at that sexy thing there. Yes. Alright people, trailer looks exactly the same way as the last time you saw it. BAM! Your boy trailer is black. Yes sir, I have painted uh, with some rust oleum. BAM! All the uh, actual trailer parts. So, just went back and got uh, uh, exterior paint for the wood because they said I should use a different one because they said if I use rust-oleum on the wood then it'll probably come off in like a uh, a year or so so So, it's not really bad news. As you can see, I covered up the tires, I taped up everything, but I didn't actually paint the whole thing with the clear coat. Uh, y'all see what I got going on over here? Can y'all see that? But let me show you this first. So, uh, bam. Yes, sir. Everybody loves free stuff. All right, people. I think I wasted my money. I don't like this. Uh, well, I mean, not not the sign. I don't like the framing. When when I planned it out in my head, I pictured it looking different. You know, the the purpose of the framing was to kind of <clears throat> it was the kind of protected from the wind like on the sides alright people there it is think I'm gonna roll with this you know, see I put some extras like, like I said on the corners it has the little gold things and then I put you know, extras along the middle. And then I put a whole lot of extras right here. Yes, sir. And there it is. The Cephalon Surgeon crazy looking trailer. You will see if you follow our nailer, nailer's channel, LCR Media, you will see me driving down the street. He has a clip of that. Go follow him. Um, I, we just recorded met up and we recorded a uh, get to know the pro 2.0 um, I'm less fat it's crazy how you don't realize how fat you are until you get on video like I, I look back at that video like jeez how many cheeseburgers was I eating <laughs> Oh gosh, you know, I'm about 20, probably 25 pounds lighter now. I'm still fat. I'm not that fat. <laughs> but yeah, that's the trailer. That's the story of the trailer, people. So all the people that want to know why I didn't measure it perfectly, it was because I have built those walls in 2015 when I built those first half of those four foot walls I wasn't thinking about making a roof I was just thinking about not having my leaves be gone with the wind fabulous you know when I get on the highway 
<laughs> so that's the story of the trailer that's how the trailer got built uh, hope this video wasn't too long and bored you to death but if you enjoyed it let me know I love telling stories <laughs> When I was with Naylor, he was like, oh, man. You know, I was telling him some stories behind the scenes. And he was like, man, this is the stuff, you know, we need. And I'm like, man, I love telling stories, you know. I just need somebody to give me the go-ahead. Tell me to, ask me a question. Ask me to tell a story. I'll tell you a story. So, y'all want me to tell a story, leave it in the comments. I'll tell y'all a story. Thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe, and I'll wait a minute. Wait a minute. <coughs> Stay tuned. Yes, sir.